Well, tonight we're learning of possible relief for thousands of residents right here in our area. WCNC Charlotte recently obtained documents proposing a settlement for the new Indy Container Board uh, over those environmental concerns that we've reported on so much here. The company announcing that it will pay over $100 million to settle claims from a years long class action lawsuit. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker, just one of our reporters following this story for years in Austin. How, how many people does this settlement actually include here? Yeah, a whole lot. It's around. They've been fighting with the paper plant, saying it hasn't done anything to fix its output of smelly and potentially toxic gas that it's been releasing from their production. Now, this has been going on for three years. The plaintiffs asking the U.S. District Court of South Carolina to approve the settlement agreement reach on Wednesday. It says New Indy settlement will pay residents $18 million for claims, attorney fees, and expenses. Now, the motion goes on to say in part, quote, defendants have agreed to undertake remedial activities valued at over 86,000, 85,000, excuse me, 85 million, a very big number to resolve these actions. Now, this all means they'll be adding measures to alleviate the gases, like a steam stripper or cover their lagoons where their runoff happens. And for residents who have been leading the charge in this since the beginning, tonight, some are left weird because there's no time frame on those fixes. It just says they need to happen. But nevertheless, they say they are emotional. I cried. <laughs> um, I mean, whether those are happy tears or sad tears after what happened to me, I'm not really quite sure. We're only in 2024, and you think some of that stuff was supposed to be done by 2026. You know what I mean? And then they're going to add on more stuff and not give a date. My thing is, is we could be 20 years down the road and the new steam stripper gives out because that's what happened with the last one. And we still don't have these upgrades yet. And we could be in the same situation we are in now. You know, Colin, I've been here for over two years at WCNC Charlotte, and I've covered this so many times. So many faces and so many people have talked to me about how much this has impacted them. Now, again, we've reached out to New Indy for comment, and they just got back to us in the last hour. They say they have nothing further to add, but again, we will update you when we do learn more. But for now, in the studio, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Austin, appreciate that.